Apart from the obvious ingredients in energy drinks, that sounds. Like, I think I'd really, I'd really would you actually know what half the others did, or if they were even harmful? Moreover, would you actually know if any of these ingredients would react poorly with each other inside the can before you drink it? I didn't think so, because I'm not actually sure if manufacturers would even know. Well, lucky for you, some researchers have looked at just that. And turns out, some ingredients might actually be getting a little too friendly with each other inside the can and producing levels of hydrogen peroxide that could be harmful right before you drink it. So what? Let's find out how. Roll the intro. What's up nerds, it's your bro David back again with some snappy science. There's a good chance that the energy drink that you choose to drink is actually producing harmful levels of hydrogen peroxide inside the can. This is actually becoming an increasingly important topic because energy drink consumption is beginning to correlate with the increased risks of cancer in the age groups that tend to drink them. Hydrogen peroxide is actually reasonably safe and is generally used for things like bleaching paper, dyeing hair and hair salons, or even sterilizing surgical tools. It's actually known to be able to kill a broad range of bacteria and viruses. Sounds interesting. And no, not the one that you think of. Amazingly, the human body actually produces its own small amounts of hydrogen peroxide, which is used in cellular processes such as signaling, but the quantity is actually low enough for the cells to be able to deactivate it when they don't need it anymore. Back to the energy drinks. So the team at Monash's chemistry school actually looked at the hydrogen peroxide levels in 28 energy drinks bought from a local store. What they found was that some energy drinks actually produce levels of hydrogen peroxide 15,000 times higher than that that would naturally be produced by the human body. Here's that face again. Say what? They believe this might be the result of some ingredients in the can mixing to form what's called a redox reaction, something you wouldn't normally test a drink for before it's sold. Redox reactions involve the transfer of electrons between two molecules, sometimes causing harmful substances in the process. It's pretty nerdy stuff, but simplistically, two ingredients in the energy drink can are likely forming a redox reaction and producing hydrogen peroxide. Now, you don't actually need oxygen to have a redox reaction, which is why they think this hydrogen peroxide can actually be formed while the can is still sitting on the shelf. But if you add oxygen, you can actually supercharge a redox reaction. So in the case of energy drinks, when you pop that can and let oxygen in, you might actually be supercharging the production of hydrogen peroxide right before you sip it. By now, you're probably wondering what these ingredients are. Well, that's the tricky part. Energy drinks are such weird cocktails of preservatives and sugars and additives that it was really hard for the researchers to nail it down. But they are pretty confident that one ingredient that often got involved was ascorbic acid, which you would know as vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is actually a very common ingredient in drinks and food, but it also loves getting involved in redox reactions. That's it! Now, at the end of the day, I can't really say don't buy this brand of energy drink or don't buy this one. I can't even really say don't buy energy drinks that have ascorbic acid in them, as we really don't know if it's the only culprit involved. But the next time you go to drink your favorite energy drink, just think to yourself, is the caffeine high really worth drinking paper bleach? And go have a coffee instead. You've just been scienced. Oh.